I'm Mark Wood and you're watching Mariners TV. Briggs, you full of drama in that game with the 10 men incident in the first half, your, your goal in the second half, what's the team feeling like at the end of that one? Yeah, great. Um, first game of the season is always a tough one. Uh, everyone's up for it, they've been waiting for around 68 weeks where they've been doing a lot of running pre-season, so everyone wants to get into it, but um, we pulled together really, really well today. Yeah, it was a bit of a blow with, with Gilly getting uh, sent off, but we come together really well and it's a great result for us. I guess that's the kind of thing that could have affected you negatively in the past, but, but is there a different sort of mentality about you this season? Do you think there's yeah, I think we got questioned um, three, four weeks ago in pre season to see how much do we really want it, how much do we want to come to places like this and really battle and win through battling rather than playing football. We all know we can play nice football at home, and, but what can we do away? And uh, I think two weeks ago something clicked um, and we've really come together as a team, we fight for each other and um, we've just showed it on the pitch today. So no goals in the first half, what was the mentality going into the second half with 10 men? You must have still had full belief that you could win the game. Yeah, definitely. Um, and, that, and that was mentioned by the management at half-time. Um, we keep doing everything right and we're going to get chances in the game. Um, and we, we took the lead before, I think it was before they got sent off. Um, and it just showed what, what we're doing at the end of the game. And we're battling, jumping in front of the balls. And Brownie's jumping in front of the balls. Shaw's jumping in front of the balls. Louis putting tackles in. Um, it's great to be a part of it. You've scored some great goals over the last few years. How highly do you rank that one today? Yeah, it was it was one of the, I didn't really uh, I didn't really think I caught it that well. I, I like to see it back, but uh, felt like it was off, off balance a little bit. But it, it seemed like it was going in, and the keeper's got a touch of it. But luckily, it still got in, so it's always nice to score. I guess after that goes in, it gives you a great sort of foothold in the game. We seem to dominate the next 10, 20 minutes of the game. It's been a really good thing to be a part of. Yeah, yeah, it just it just shows you no matter if you've got 10, 11 men, as soon as you get that little boost of confidence, everyone gets it get a little raise and then, and then it just shows what we went and done after after we scored. And a clean sheet as well, I guess that's something for the whole team to be proud of as well on a day like this. Yeah, massively, massively. I think we're a team that will score a lot of goals um, with the players that have got the quality that we've got. So we look after ourselves defensively um, from the front all the way down to the back and to the keeper um, and we'll do, we'll do really well. We mentioned the fans a lot, but how much did they help today in that second half? Yeah, amazing. The, the, flat, the fans are always good. Uh, they all travel in numbers, um, they're always loud, they always cheer us on. Um, and they're always the 12th man for us, so you cannot underestimate what they do with us on the pitch. Your first goal of the season, the first time the fans have seen your goal gift as well on Twitter. Can you sort of talk through that and why you've decided to go for that one? I've been getting a bit stick um, after I got, got my teeth done, I got put some braces and got them whitened, so I've been getting a little bit of stick. So. So I'll pull the paintbrush out and get them painted. Brilliant. And just finally, it's afternoon at home on Tuesday. Obviously, the team has came down from the division above. How tough do you expect that one to be on Tuesday? I think every game's tough, Dan. I think we've just got to go in every game as if as if it's a final. Uh, last year, we, we looked at it and said, right, 10 games in, let's have a look where we're at. This year, we're not. We're going straight in and saying, right, this is what we're going for. Um, we kind of hold off from, from the beginning. Um, we had a really slow start yet last year, and I think it cost us. So, uh, that we couldn't ask for a better start.